What's going on guys, it's Cluffy here. Now before we start this episode, what I want to see you guys do down in the comment section, hashtag save the Knicks. I'll get to that later on, but uh, since last episode, nothing has happened. You know, last episode we played in the Champions Trophy Final, um, which we won, and now we're in the first game of the new season, and Bonavasia just pulls that out of nowhere. How did he do that? Photo op, get to the camera my boy. No? Okay, no photo op. Um, unfortunate, but what a hit from Bonavasia to start things off in the A-League season. Holy crap, what a start. But anyway, back to what I said at the start of the video, save the Knicks. Um, so there's a, well, there's a lot going around, I guess, New Zealand and Australia, for those um, that know, I guess, about, uh, you know, the A-League, we'll be following the story. For you. But for you guys overseas, you won't know too much about it. So, um, the Phoenix basically are New Zealand's only professional football side. And they went because their license is due to expire uh, next, uh, well, sorry, like the start of, well, the end of the season, start of next season kind of thing. So they applied for this uh, exception, you know, their, to, to lengthen their license, shall we say. And they went for the 10-year license because they're like, yep, you know, we're, we're doing well, which they are, you know, they're a pretty good side. And um, I talked about this on stream quite a bit, but yeah, good side. Oh, great save, Glen Moss. You know, crowds aren't aren't the biggest, but I went through this on stream as well. Um, considering, I guess, the population that we have, and you know, f football isn't that popular in New Zealand. It is getting more popular, but um, rugby is still definitely our national sport. Um, so that's why the crowds are a wee bit low, but. Like I was talking about it with a few people, and when you think about it, the crowds that we have are pretty similar to basically every crowd that you get, um, you know, to, to a, a game that isn't one of, I guess, the big clubs. You know, a Melbourne club, a Sydney club, even Brisbane. You know, we have the same sort of crowds. The Central Coast, uh, the Jets, the Mariners, no, sorry, the Central Coast is the Mariners, um, you know, the Glory, they're all fairly the same. You know, they're all pretty much the same when it comes to attendance. It's, a, it's between that eight. I guess, to 12,000. And to kick them out of the league for that, I think would be pretty crap. But basically, they're just looking for a way, um, you know, they want to expand. Well, they don't want to expand the league. They want to get new clubs, and they don't want to expand the league. So they're basically just looking for a bit of a scapegoat. And uh, because New Zealand isn't part of, I guess, uh, the Aiden, Asian Federation, uh, we're still part of the Oceanic qualifying FIFA zone, shall we say, kind of thing, um, that... Basically, it's an easy way to, to get us out because we can't qualify for the Asian Champions League because we don't play in the Asian Confederation. Uh, and so I guess it's just it's just a way to, to try and get us out, which is pretty crap. So anyway, um, enough dabbling on. So we went, applied for a 10-year exemption to our license, which was turned down. Um, the FFA, which is, I guess, the governing body of, uh, you know, the A-League, football, the Football Federation Australia, and they've basically come back and said that the Phoenix can apply for a four-year deal, um, but even that there is not guaranteed. So basically what a lot of people are saying, including former uh, Phoenix striker, uh, Paul Eiffel, who now has a football academy here in New Zealand, he's basically said that uh, the FFA is saying that the f they can have, well, not have a four-year deal, a uh, four-year exemption, but... Um, Offering that is kind of a bit of a slap on the wrist kind of thing, which it is because when you think about it Basically the reason that they're doing that or one of the reasons that a lot of people are saying is that so they can get this new team You know based in Canberra based in Sydney wherever they want to be based Basically, they've got four years to go and get them ready to get I guess stadium sorted Jesus, what is up with long shots today? We almost banged one in with McGlinchey as well. But I guess get their stadium, get that all sorted, get a bit of a fan base behind them, and then as soon as that four-year deal expires for the Phoenix, it's see you later and hello new A-League team without going and expanding the league, keeping it at 10 teams, which, you know, I think they've, they've got the right idea. I can understand where they're coming from where they don't want to expand the league because I don't think uh, the talent is quite there at the moment. I don't think they want to disperse it more uh, than they already have, you know, I think the talent pool is growing, but at the moment, expansion of the league, probably not the right thing to do, you know, maybe four or five years down the track, um, definitely go and, and put it in, and, and go from there, but, I mean, it is just a real kick in the teeth for Phoenix fans, for New Zealand football fans, 
Um, and I mean, even even some other fans. I mean, like Roy Krishna, who is Fijian, like he has really gone and I guess influenced um, the Fijian football community. And it's it's been shown. Like the Phoenix went out not too long ago um, and played in Fiji because of Krishna, and he is a real fan favorite, not just amongst the Fijians, but amongst a lot of the Phoenix uh, supporters as well. So, oh, Sarpong, you got to put that away. So yeah, it would be a real shame, I guess, to lose that as well. But we just got to go and wait and see. So what I want you guys to do, as I said at the start of the video, hashtag save the Knicks down in the comment. Chuck it all up over social media. Post it to my Twitter. Send it to my Snapchat. Put it on my Facebook. I don't care. Just get it out there. Get the word out. Let's do it. Let's save the club. Because, I mean, that's what they want to do. And there's been a lot of backing from other A-League clubs as well. Um, just saying that, you know, they don't want the Phoenix to go. Um... So why the FFA wants it to go, and that is a pen, so that is going to potentially go and put us up 2-0. Krishna, the man I was just talking about, and now his penalties don't actually look that good, but I think he's the, wow, the best penalty taker on my team is 62. And that is Krishna, the man I was talking about, one of the fan favorites for the Knicks, and he puts that away, makes it 2-0, and this is a great, great start for the Phoenix. So Phoenix actually played Raw on... I think it was Saturday night, and uh, Brisbane were doing really well in the league. They'd gone unbeaten um, in their first two games, and a lot of people weren't riding uh, the Phoenix off, but they were expecting a, a tough time from them. And it was a good game, 3-2 um, to the Phoenix, came back late on uh, to pick up the three points. So that's very valuable, I think. If the Phoenix get up towards the top of the table like they did towards the end of last season, like I think in the end they finished third, um, but there was a long time where they were actually sitting top of the perch. And I think if they can do that, it is kind of going to be uh, a little bit of a kick in the teeth for the FFA that, you know, this is a team who's competing in the league. Um, financially, they're pretty good. Fan base is pretty good. Um, so, yeah, it just doesn't make too much sense as to why uh, they're wanting to go and boot them out. I mean, I could understand if they're coming from, you know, um, the the team we had before the Phoenix was called the Knights, the New Zealand Knights, and we had the uh, the Football Kings as well. If I could understand if it was in that situation there, where you know, the, is that another penalty? Another penalty, and a red card. Beautiful, love it, boys. Ah, just beautiful, absolutely beautiful. But um, anyway, back to that point. I could see. If, uh, oh no, I've missed it. Oh no, I've pushed it too far. It doesn't matter, we're already up 2-0 and we've got that red card now, but man. If it was a different story, if it was 1-1 or we were down, I would be pissed off. Seriously pissed off. What a send, unlucky. But anyway, back, back to my original story before we had all that drama with the red card and the penalty. I can understand if, you know, if the side was struggling in the league, Financially, they were struggling to get results, struggling to get fans. You know, they're only getting like 2,000, 3,000 people to a game. I could understand then why the FFO would be like, look, guys, it's not really working. Um, rah, 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 we're not going to extend your license. But, I mean, the Phoenix, they're getting eight, as I said, eight to 12,000 people. I'm, there was a post on Twitter yesterday that I saw. I can't remember when it was, but the Phoenix had like 32,000 to a game one time. I think it was a friendly. It wasn't an A-League game. Um... But yeah, had 32,000 to a game, which, you know, is just incredible um, for a New Zealand side. As I said, football is not our national sport. Um, it is definitely rugby. And um, the, 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 the football community is growing in New Zealand, you know. Like it's getting there. Um, it's getting, I guess, a bit more of a reputation. God, these Srubles are working well for me today. They are working so well for me today. We've almost had a fourth of Bonavassia following up there. There's going to be another sub. Um, so, yeah, that's... I don't know how many times I can really say it in a video without without it going big time overboard on it. So, um, But, yeah, just remember, do that social media. Do it in the bottom of this video. Um, just get the message out there. It would just... It would, it would mean the world to me, and it would mean the world to the Phoenix fans. So, um, hopefully it doesn't happen. Hopefully uh, something can be sorted out and the Phoenix can stay in the league long term. Uh, but I guess we're just going to have to wait and see. It kind of is um, out of our control. It's out of the Phoenix owner's control. It's out of the player's control. So they've just got to keep doing uh, what they do. they just got to keep playing. Um, hopefully keep winning games and just go and try and... Oh, Bolivarsia, no! 
Threw on goal and he's gone down injured. We can't actually afford that because I've already got one guy injured and we don't want to be defaulting any games. Oh, no, it's serious too. We don't want to be defaulting any games due to injury. All right, I'm going to move McGlinchy up. Bring Vinny Lear on. That's not good. Hopefully the injury isn't too bad. We just lost one of the defenders. I think it was Thomas Doyle for uh, two months to an ACL. Um, so, yeah, we can't really afford considering it is out of the transfer window now as well. So I can only sign free agents, which I don't really want to do because there isn't any good free agents uh, on the board. Um, so that's gone out. That is going to be full time. So a great start for this career mode with the Phoenix. 3-0 against the Raw. So we start off with three points from our first game, three goals. 3-3-3, three, three, three. that's all I've got to say. But anyway, guys, I'm going to wrap this up here. Remember, hashtag save the Knicks in the comment of this video and get it all over so uh, social media. Let's save the club. Do hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, please remember to leave a like. If you are new, please do subscribe. Make sure you check out my Facebook and Twitter. Links to that can be found down below in the description. Hope you guys have had a good weekend. Make sure you tune in tomorrow. Don Bradman batting career playing in the Big Bash League final there. Make sure you do not miss that.